Hello everyone. Um, we did these little um, ink pen uh, where you put your pencils, ink pen, whatever in your um, little pocket for these little journals that you get at the Dollar Tree. You can put your ink pens in there and all it does is fold like that on the back. And I've been wanting to do this tutorial for a while. Not this tutorial, but the candy cane tutorial. It's called the candy cane stitch tutorial. I didn't have any red in this, so I decided that I'm going to do it in white and green. I don't know what that black is in there, but oh, it's red. Okay. So I'm going to do it in white, and this is a neon green, which is not showing up neon green at all. You're going to need a darning needle, a pair of scissors, and I'm going to use a 3.5 hook, and I'm going to show you how to do this. So give me one minute. I'm going to set up, and we will get to it. A 3.5, guys. Alrighty. Alright, we're going to start down here in the corner. Go into the corner there, and I, wait, no, 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 no. I went to do a standing single crochet, but I will start in the corner, pull up, and go through two. Okay, this stitch is in uh, a chain of five. So we're going to do a single crochet, and we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four. And we're going to lay it down. We're going to pick up the next collar and do the same thing as a standing single crochet into the next one. And we're going to do five chain two, three, four, five. We're going to lay that down. We're going to go back to the white that we put on first. We're going to lay this candy cane um, part down. And we're going to go into the next stitch. And we're going to do a single crochet. And we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Take your hook out, lay that down, pick up the green, and we're going to go into the next stitch, and we're going to put a single crochet, and we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to lay that down. We're going to pick this one up, the white or whatever color you have. Push that down, go into the next stitch, and do a single crochet. Do a single crochet. And chain five. One, two, three, four, five. That's all there is to this stitch. I think it makes a nice, pretty border, and especially with the holidays here right now. I think that it, it is appropriate. So we go into the next stitch, do a single crochet, and we chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Lay that down. Pick this one up. Give it a little pull. Go into the next stitch. Single crochet. And chain five. Two, three, four, and five. And that's all it is to a candy cane border. Okay. Hope you enjoy this stitch and give it a try. Thank you for watching.
Okay, let's finish this up. So we're on the white ring here. We give it a pull. We're down here in the corner. And we don't do any extra stitches in the corner. All we're going to do is right around the corner. Do a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Lay that down. Pick up the green. Oops, sorry. Pick up the green and lay this down like that. And go into the next stitch. Do a single crochet. Chain five. Lay it down. Go into the next stitch. Chain five. Want it too tight? I know. One, two, three, four, and five. Lay that down. Go into the next one. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Lay that down. Lay that down. Give it a little pull. Go into the next stitch. Now we're working across this. The strap of the back. So we need the strap to stay in the back. One, two, three, four, five. Now it might be a little hard to catch a stitch, but you can do it. I fold it. Take it like that and look to see where you can find pick up um, in the front here. There you go. This one up. Yes, your yarns will get tangled. That is a definite. But it's all worth it. And I just pulled out that stitch. Okay. I remember to add one there. So let's go in the next. Try to find it over here. And when you get down here to the end, you try to make sure it's even. I probably don't need that. I'm sure I don't. That was three. Don't matter because we're going to end. Mm. Let me see if I can do this one more time. Yeah, we need that. One, two, three, four, and five. Like that. Pick up this one. We have one stitch left, so we're going to put the white in there. One, we're not going to be um, no, we're pro 
we're going to take that one out. We're going to be done with that. So we're going to take our last part of green because we have a white here. And all we're going to do is a single crochet right there. I think I did that wrong, so we're going to do this one. Be done with the green. So two, three, four, five, and we need it to land here. Let me see if that works. Mm. Nope. I think we probably should do it this way. It needs to overlap that. So let's pull that out. It's been a while since I did this, guys. I'm doing it with a yarn I'm not really happy with, actually. It's not. Lining up. All right. So this needs to go down there. Okay. Let's do it this way. It needs to go into this stitch, but it needs to be in front. Let's see if that's what I want. Let me do a single. I think I will take the white and do the same. Three, four, five, and we will go hmm. I think the I think the white is done. Let's stop there. All right, it's a little tedious there. So, as long as it goes over and over and over, you know, green, white, green, white, and that is what it looks like. You could put whatever you want in there. There you go. Okay, thank you.